What's going on guys, you Taz here, and today we need to get into the top 5 worst backstories. You thought your life was bad when mama said you couldn't get the large Oreo McFlurry? These niggas have it worse, and we're gonna hop straight to the first one, alright? Redo of Healer, alright? Now, Redo of Healer, the healer, is chosen from his village to come serve the princess or like the kingdom, right? And once he gets there, he has to heal this lady's arm. He heals the arm, she's smiling, she's happy, but this dude finally realizes with his power, he has to go through every single thing that she just went through to lose that arm. All that pain he just went through. And he tells her, no, nah, that was way too much, nigga, I'm done. I'm not healing nobody no more. She says, all right, I accept that. Later, they break into the room, they kidnap him, bring him to the dungeon where bro gets 22 lashings like an ultimate slave, all right? And then they force him to be on drugs like Lil Peep, so he's dependent on them drugs. But when he high, when he geeked up, you know what I'm saying? They literally turn him into a dog. They make this man bark and beg like a dog, bro. He is down bad. And this is one of the worst stories ever, bro. He please got turned to a dog. But notice that, he got raped by a dude. Bro, come on. James Charles, Dan Schneider, EDP got him. But they turned his booty into Dusty Depot. Next, we have that boy Sanji, all right? His dad is the ultimate scumbag, kind of like your dad, but he actually stayed around. Anyways, all right? Now, this boy Sanji's brothers were all experimented on with, like, these, you know, this thing that gave them powers and made them lose all emotions. So, they're just straight dickheads, you know what I'm saying? Just like you, you little prick, right? So, after that, they're just straight bullies. He don't want to be like them. So, when it's Sanji's turn to get the powers, he just doesn't, doesn't work on him. He's ineffective. He still has emotions. He kind of soft, right? So, his brothers are beating him up he getting bullied but not just that his dad says nah bruh i ain't rocking with you no more you gotta go she starts beating him locks him in the cage this dude looking like a jigsaw villain all right or a jigsaw victim my bad look at this dude now not just that after that he'd be crying in there let me out let me out let me out just like the girls in my basement right so then i have the dad says fine you can go but just never tell anyone you are my son because you are truly a disgrace to the family damn and not just that his mom died his mom is gone she a op pack all right but once he leaves he gets on a boat meets zeph and gets stuck on an island where he almost starves to death bro Look at this man looking like Mace, bro. He has the Mace build, all right? Bro is super skinny. It's actually crazy. Next one we have is Sasuke. I'm just kidding. We're going Kakashi, all right? Everyone says, who is the worst backstory? It's that boy Kakashi, all right? That man went through it, all right? So he grew up. His dad is somewhat a legend, all right? But his dad never fold on the bros. And he saved his friend over the mission. But they said, nah, nigga, you should have went for the mission. They betray him. And this man, this man is shunned by the village. Everyone hates this man. He has no choice but to kill himself. So this boy Kakashi has no dad, you know, aka making him black. And it's hard to be black out here. But anyways, um, Kakashi grows up to be with, on a team with Obito, Ren, and Minato, right? But on a mission, bro gets one of his eyes cut out, gets into a fight. Obito gets crushed by a rock. Obito says, happy birthday, gives him a new eye. So every day he walk around with Obito's eye saying, damn, it's my day of homie eye. That's crazy, right? So then he's fine with Rin, and she decides to sacrifice herself, jumping in front of Chidori. Min blew a hole in her sh in her in her chest, bro. He turned her into Fire Fist Ace. He turned her into Rengoku from Demon Slayer. It was not okay, all right? So bro just seen both two of his homies die, but later he grows up, and his mentor gets smoked too. By a nine-tailed fox, bro. That's not cool, bro. You cannot do that, bro. Imagine a fox kill your sensei, bro. That's not cool. Next on the list, we have that boy, Dog Nigga. That's actually what it's called. Don't ask me no questions, all right? This is actually a 10-star, you know, Supreme King anime. It's definitely one of the best out there, if not the best anime ever. But that boy, Bad Story, is down horrendous. His dad is a human. His mom is a dog. So you know how that goes. His dad sees a dog and says, I'm trying to rape that. So he goes and hits them cheeks. He claps them dogs. He's like, oof, 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 oof. Right, he does that, right? And then she has a son who is dog nigga, who is half nigga, and a dog. So he's also black, making it even worse for him, bro. His life is terrible. 
But not just that. His whole plotline is to grow up and rape his dad back for raping his mom. That's truly the only way to get revenge, alright? So if EDP sent you sussy pictures, send them right back. You know how to do it. If I send you sussy feet pics, you better send them right back. You know how to get that revenge. You know what I'm talking about? Lastly, we got my boy Edward from Full Metal Alchemist. If not, both the brothers, alright? They grow up. Their dad leaves. So it automatically makes them black because they have no dad, alright? Then their mom contracts a sickness and she is gone she's a pack they're smoking on her right it's crazy but then they say you know what i'm gonna revive her with some alchemy they go get all the things they need to make a human body but guess what bro they do the spell whatever do the alchemy and she come back as a monster she looking horrid she looking bad even i wouldn't hit those and i'm so severely down bad it's crazy all right in the process, they get pulled to God, and God's like, nigga, why have you done this? So he takes his arm and his leg, but the other brother got it even worse. He took his whole body. Now he's metal, bro. How is he going to beat his meat? How is he going to hit some cheeks, bro? It's crazy. His life is ruined forever. God stole everything from him. So what are you doing, God, when, robs you? when God robs you? What do you do? You have to accept it, right? Their life sucks. Their backstory is terrible. But that'll be it. I'm just playing. We finna keep going because I want to hit eight minutes and I like money, all right? I usually forget to add mid-rolls anyways. But we have Karapika for the second last one on the list, all right? Now, I used to think he was a she and I used to think she was kind of bad, but, you know, don't we don't want to talk about that. Anyways, all right? She grows up in... He, bro, what's going on with me? He grows up in a village, right? And then he leaves on an adventure. He's the first person to leave the village. He comes back... All his homie gets slayed by his, all his family. Everyone in the whole clan gets slayed by the phantom trope. But it's worse than them just dying because it was for the racks. It was for them bands. Now, I probably would have did it too because I need them breads. But you know what I'm saying? He t they, 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 they take the eyes and they sell them on the black market. The dark web, bro. How can you do this to that man, bro? They sold everything. Imagine you see your mom's eyes on, on, on eBay. What are you going to do? And for the final one, the worst one, to be honest, we have Hakimari. Hakimari. I don't even know how to say his nigga's name. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyways, right? So this man is born, but his mom and dad sacrifice him to the, the demon kings so they can protect their land. So they sold this man's eyes, his skin, his nose, his ears, his legs and arms. Bro, it's literally a chicken nugget, all right? He has no physical features, bro. He is born with nothing, and he, he meets, like, this guy who gives him, like, fake body parts. But it's like, how down bad are you? Your parents sold you to a demon for, like, to protect the land, but it's not even protecting them. It's, like, for just for misfortune, like, give us water every month. Oh. Like, bro, big deal, bro. Create a well. I don't know what you need to do to get water, bro. But that's by far the worst on this entire list. But that'll be it. Appreciate it if you made it to the end. I'm trying to fill these last eight seconds, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, all right.